guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Based off of the title, I'm straightening my hair and I haven't straightened my hair myself in quite some time. I typically go into a hair salon, um, an Ethiopian one, and I get a roller set blow out and then I straighten it. But today I will be using some of my favorite Dyson products to show you guys exactly how I straighten my hair. I am collaborating with them and today I thought I'd go ahead and do a more in-depth video. So this video is not sponsored, but I wanted to show you guys the full tutorial. So last night I went ahead and washed my hair. I shampooed and conditioned it, rinsed all products out. That will help to get it as super straight, sleek, um, and not weighed down or greasy after straightening it. That is kind of key to this entire process. Then I went ahead and sectioned my hair and braided it into smaller parts so that it can go ahead and dry. And then today I'm ready to go ahead and blow out each section. So if you guys are interested to see what products I use each step of the process, please continue watching and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna go ahead and get these braids out of the way and start on this back one. I'm just using this clip to hold it over onto this side so it doesn't move while I work on this section. The reason why I do this approach is because my hair is already basically stretched out from being in the braids overnight. And so I don't have to use the blow dryer too much to go ahead and dry it. I'm really excited to use this white tooth comb attachment. It goes right into the supersonic hair dryer. I haven't used it yet, but it's supposed to be working, supposed to work wonders with natural hair. It helps to stretch it out easily. You don't need to use a brush at the same time. You can just use one tool in order to get the stretched out hair look. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and then I'll probably use it on the highest air speed and the second heat just because my hair is already dry. I'm just gonna go ahead and stretch it as much as possible. As you guys can tell, I'm halfway done. That took less than 15 minutes, to be honest. My hair was already braided, so it was already stretched out. The wide tooth comb really helped to kind of stretch it as much as possible. So halfway through, my hair is looking pretty sleek so far already. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other side and report back to you. Okay guys, I finished my whole head of hair. I think that took about 15, 20 minutes. It really helps to have your hair braided prior. My hair is super stretched out. It's super long also. Um, I'll probably get a trim after my hair is straight, but this helped the entire process speed up um, and not take too long. And I really love how it looks right now. It will not take long to straighten my hair either using the Dyson Corral so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I use that heat protectant I showed you guys. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair and work from the bottom all the way to the top. So, let me know what you guys think of the wide tooth comb attachment for the Supersonic. I actually increased the air to the highest on number three and then the heat to number the highest level three as well. It just sped up the process and I knew I wasn't gonna get any heat damage. So I just went ahead and changed the settings at the beginning. guys this is the final results using the Dyson Corral as you guys can tell my hair is sleek straight super shiny like wow I'm so excited to have my hair straight for like forever <laughs> just kidding probably two weeks but I love love the straightener the flexing plates really helps to kind of gather my hair and essentially I don't have to go through too many passes for my hair which helps to prevent any type of heat damage also, the um, straightener has its own heat control, so it always controls the power and that it's constant and that it stays on the temperature that I've selected. I just love it. Like, my hair is super long too. I'm totally wearing pajama pants. <laughs> but, yes, I'm in love with the results. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys again what I used. This was the Proclaim Glossing Polish for Salamini eliminating shiner i've been using this since i was like a teenager my mom introduced it to me it's from sally beauty absolutely love this product and it lasts you a while i just needed to go buy a new one because i haven't used it in a while and then the other one was the heat protectant from kenra it's the blow dry spray advanced dry thermal protectant i'll have i will have both of them linked down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out as well as the dyson corral but yeah, let me know what you guys think, if you guys have this at home, if you find that it's worth it. So I probably will not apply any more heat on my hair, um, maybe refresh it once if let's say the humidity and the DMV gets to it. But other than that, that's it. I'm just going to keep touching my hair for the rest of the week probably because like always I'm never used to the straight hair. 
But if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, ask me any questions down below in the comment section. I am here to help or answer whatever you have. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.